All right, today we are talking about adherence. We all know the word adherence. It means to adhere, to stick to, to um, keep in the lane. Joseph this morning in the gym said, stay in your lane. This is adherence, staying in your lane. Being able to um, understand why adherence is so important to a lifestyle. When we talk about calorie deficits, when we talk about um, whether it's keto, intermittent fasting, paleo, whatever you choose to do for a lifestyle, uh, for a diet, you have to adhere to, otherwise you're not gonna be successful. Adhering is sticking to it, making the commitment to yourself that you're gonna stick to this plan, whether it's for four weeks, six weeks, lifestyle, whatever you choose. Um, so being realistic about what can you actually adhere to? What can you say, I can do this and I can do this for a month. I can do this for two months. I can do this for the rest of my life. Um, back in my crossfitting days, I did paleo and I committed to being paleo. I hated it. I hated every minute of it because it wasn't something that I felt was realistic for my life when I was traveling, when I was in restaurants, when we were out at parties and all these carbs and chips and dips and stuff were in my face, I couldn't be paleo in those moments. And so for me, being able to truly commit to a paleo lifestyle, that's not an option for me, right? So being realistic about what can you adhere to and how long can you adhere to it? Um, paying attention to what are the things that might get in your way? Right? What's getting in your way? Is it that you want to be paleo and your family wants to eat carbs, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Okay, so maybe paleo isn't the lifestyle that you're going to be able to adhere to. Maybe it's a modified paleo. Um, maybe it's uh, that you don't have time to meal prep, meal plan, or cook for yourself. Okay, there's lots of ways around that, but being able to acknowledge what is, what is it that you can adhere to and what's going to get in your way of trying to adhere that adhere to that. Making a plan for these are the things that are going to be my stumbling blocks and roadblocks when I try to adhere to this diet or lifestyle. Once you acknowledge what those things are that are getting in your way, you can find ways to tackle those before you even start down that diet path. Um, paying attention to bites, licks, and tastes. So my BLT is here. We think we're adhering to our diet as we're making dinner and we lick the spoon or we taste it to see if it needs more salt, or we're stirring the batter for the brownies for our kids' lunches and we lick the spoon, right? Those are great, but guess what? Every bite, every lick, and every taste has calories that you're not accounting for, that you're not tracking. So when we talk about tracking and lifestyle and adherence, you're not counting every one of those calories. I was craving some tortilla chips the other day. I went and I had two tortilla chips. Did I put them in my tracker? No, I did not. Because who's going to track two tortilla chips? This is, this is adherence, right? When you wonder why you're not losing weight, look back. How much bites, looks, and tastes have you had? How many times did you check your meal before you actually even ate it to see if your seasonings were, were right? Um, so really, really focusing on are the bites, looks, and tastes getting in your way of following that, uh, staying in that lane of this is what I want to commit to for this time period. Um, understanding the deficit and maintenance lifestyle. When you go into a diet, whatever that looks like for you, keto, intermittent fasting, calories, paleo, when you go into a diet, ideally you're going to cut calories, you're going to go into that diet phase for a period of time. And this is where your adherence needs to come into play. You do not want to live in that diet forever. You want to come out of that diet and go into what's called a maintenance phase. This is where you eat at a caloric level that keeps your total daily expenditure at the same level that you're burning. So what you're burning is what you're eating so that you're maintaining where you are. The reasons why you go into um, deficits and maintenance phases is to keep your body healthy. If you follow a keto lifestyle and you try to be keto for six months, for a year, you are eventually going to run into physical health problems. Your body cannot tolerate the, that lifestyle for long periods of time. Keto was originally meant for a two month period of time. That's where it was devised. 
and then it became this big fad and now people want to be keto forever and that's great except your body will eventually start to shut down on you so really looking at this understanding of lifestyle you want to adhere to um, that deficit and then go back into maintenance and then when you're ready to, again to lose weight or if you want to go into a cut phase you go back into your diet and then you come out of it and you go into maintenance so again you're adhering to a lifestyle of a deficit deficit and maintenance plan um, and lastly ask yourself what are your non-negotiables what are the things that I'm not willing to budge on I'm not willing to give up um, that's one of the questions I ask my nutrition coaching client nutrition coaching clients what are you not willing to negotiate with me on what food will you, are you not willing to give up my nutrition coach asked me this and immediately I said cheese I knew that that was a non-negotiable right steps in my day that is a non-negotiable I have to get my steps in every day whether I work out or not is irrelevant I'm not willing to negotiate my steps that's in the, that's above and beyond what I do in my workout um, ask yourself what are your non-negotiables is your workout non-negotiable because if it's not, if it's not non-negotiable, then get your butt in the gym. If it is non-negotiable, then you should be committing to three days a week, five days a week, whatever your commitment level is to that. If your non-negotiables are something related to food, then own that, own that you're allowing yourself the cheese and have that. And then you're, you're gonna cut out the butter. You're gonna cut out something else because you want this in your life, right? So it's being able to negotiate what can I have and what am I willing to give up in, in order to have that piece. This is where the adherence comes into play. I'm willing to give this up because I want to adhere to this lifestyle which allows me to have cheese. I love cheese. Just saying. Um, so really focusing on what are those non-negotiables. Ask yourself that question. Write down your answers. Figure out how to plan your life around those non-negotiables because this is what you're committing to. This is what you're adhering to. This is how you stay in your lane.